The study of mathematics helps make the transition from darkness to light. It is perfect for preparing the mind to think on a higher level. A little knowledge of geometry and calculation is enough for practical needs and concrete figures. The higher and more advanced portions tend to lift the mind above the mundane and enable it to understand abstract forms. It allows one to contemplate the sensible and perishable, and eventually, the final goal of philosophy, the idea of a greater good. When we're young, the world is inherently reasonable. Our questions are simple, and so the answers we get are clear and concrete. But as we grow older, we encounter more and more perplexing situations that leave us at a loss for words. We begin to have questions that we cannot find an answer to, and some that may never be answered. When we're forced to take on challenges that have no concrete answer, no easy or seemingly reasonable solution, we get scared. As human beings, we seek out solidarity and reason, and we have the ability to always find it. Even with the most abstract problems that may seem overbearing, people will come together to support each other to figure out how to bring abstract solutions that may seem unreasonable back down to concrete and understandable solutions. While figuring out any mathematical problem, it is crucial to look at the answer with a realistic perspective. We most commonly and easily see this in algebra. When presented with a problem that involves a parabolic equation, such as y equals negative 16x squared plus 4x plus 6, to represent the arc of a thrown object, one can deduce a reasonable solution range before even trying to solve the equation. If the question asked how far a ball was thrown to an eager dog, one could easily assume that the ball could not have been thrown a distance of three miles because that would be unreasonable. While this may seem like common sense to most people, it is important to remember that even if a solution seems like it should work, a sense of reasonableness will encourage one to double check your work, no matter the type of problem. Ideas derived from calculus are a basic and essential part of our culture. These ideas have shaped how we perceive the world and our place within it. To understand how calculus is a part of our perception, we have to think about what we are now able to understand with calculus that we could not before. Calculus has affected our astronomical knowledge the most. We now understand why orbits are ellipses, why the velocity of a planet varies in such a way that the area swept out by the line between the planet and the sun increases at a constant rate, why the square of the orbital period of a planet is proportional to the cube of the planet's average distance from the sun, and the list goes on. Many people who believe that calculus has no relation to the real world do not realize that calculus is a fundamental part of the more advanced sciences. For centuries, people have debated whether mathematics is inherent in nature, waiting to be discovered by man, or if it is simply being invented by the minds of great mathematicians. The classical Greek philosopher Plato believed that math was discoverable, that it underlies the very structure of our universe. By following the built-in logic of math, a person could discover the truths independent of human observation and free of the transient nature of physical reality. Barry Mazur, a mathematician at Harvard University, agrees with Plato that mathematics is discoverable. However, he does ask, if a mathematical theory goes undiscovered, does it truly exist? We believe that it does as an abstract idea. It simply hasn't been broken down into a concrete idea that we can understand yet. 
Everything from logic to geometry to calculus is formed from philosophies and concepts that have been discovered and pondered by both philosophers and mathematicians alike.